Ray speaking from MCA Training International and the ThinkDeep ecosystem. I want to speak about the age of agility with you today. Building agile leaders and organizations is of incredibly great importance to organizations, particularly with respect to identifying what we call high potential employees and then developing leaders who are capable of managing new business challenges in a rapidly changing context. So when we look at over the past 20 years, the workplace has changed dramatically. Disruptions in digitalization, market consolidations through mergers and acquisitions, financial pressures, globalization, and the emergence of significant new players, especially from the tech industry, have radically changed the competitive landscape for many long established companies. And that's not without talking about the impact that COVID has had on organizations. Many once leading organizations no longer exist. In fact, recent research shows that companies listed on the S&P 500 will continue to change and that the average lifespan for organizations to stay on this listing will shrink to only 12 years from 40 years. So this is huge information. It really truly is. When we look at questions about agility in terms of what are we looking at when we're looking at agility, what is it about certain leaders, for example, that creates the momentum, the spirit, the buy-in that fosters an agile culture? And then how do these leaders engender the type of environment where growth, transparency, and purpose are primary markers of their legacy? And lastly, how can organizations create right practices and processes to properly identify and develop leaders who will navigate uncharted territory. Well, we believe that ability, agility at the end of the day is the capacity to adapt and change. What do we mean by the capacity? And here's the big deal. The capacity is having the self-belief, the faith in your belief, the confidence, the self-worth, and then the desire to genuinely learn, unlearn, and relearn continuously.